Hey Paisanos, here's the uh, last Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom trailer, and I haven't watched it yet, and I decided I'm going to do a little commentary, or rather just watch it and um, let you know how I feel about it. Part of me was like, should I watch this? Is this going to spoil too much? But considering we haven't seen very much other than you can put stick on stick, I figured this would be a good thing to watch. So here we go. Okay, Skylands. Skies of Arcadia. Please make a sequel to Skies of Arcadia. I mean, it looks good. I think the extra power on the Switch that even though it's not a whole lot, that plus just extra years. I feel like they could squeeze a little bit more juice out of this game engine. Love hearing that music. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got some towns and some encampments and stuff. I mean, the world still looks great, especially, again, on, on this hardware. I think it looks... Very, very good. Oh, oh shit. We're getting a peek at some story elements, too. I saw Cronando. I mean, uh, Ganondorf. Same thing. Mission Impossible. I saw a gotcha, maybe. I saw NPCs maybe fighting enemies. Weird music. Oh, it's a lot to take in. Zelda. We rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. What is that? Is that like a monster? That looked like a monster man hand. What? Oh, orb. Sky orb. Oh, there's gonna be really weird stuff in the sky, huh? Link transporting villagers. We, we got some, some interesting use of the mechanics. Rocket. <laughs> Kerbal space program. I just played that section in Resident Evil 4. Dude, built a, a, like a tank. I know why I am here. Nice haircut. It's something only I can do. do oh man! Away. You witness a king's revival and the birth of his new world. Wait! 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 Link didn't just turn into Ganondorf, right? But you are not alone. Is that Mifa? Milfa. You are our final hope. That's the three-headed dragon from Zelda. I forget the name. I I should know that. Maybe it's a different one. That was a good trailer. Find me. That's, hey, look at that. That's, that's my birthday. Oh, wow, I won't shut up about it releasing on my birthday. Okay, me. listen. If we just look at the Let landscape me. and the mountain ranges and, and triangulate the position, I'm sure we could find Zelda easily. Um, wow, that, that was a good trailer. I'll just, I'm going to watch it again, but I just want to say that to me was um, a good mix of gameplay, story, a look at what the world looks like now and to me that was like not really spoilery it still doesn't really give away too much but i i'm intrigued it, it makes me want to know more because again i'm not always playing a zelda game for the story 
King's Revival? No, that's that's not Link's hand that's turning into Ganondorf. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, I see why they've kept, kept this game so close to the vest. Well, actually, I don't fully understand it, but I... I know that they haven't been very forthcoming with a lot of information, and we saw Dry Ganon real early on, and that was our only real hint at the story, other than, like, some vague assumptions. Maybe there was a couple little things in some trailers, but this is the most story that we've gotten, and I'm not going to begin to speculate, because I don't, I couldn't put the pieces together anyway. But, it looks great. And hearing the classic Zelda music brought back in like a remix is nice too. So the points of interest on the world there. Yeah, the world, I'm really, really happy with it. So this is, um, was that Hateno Village? Maybe? Just a little different? That's what it looks like to me. Like, how, how long in, you know, past Breath of the Wild does this game take place, I wonder? Maybe it's been revealed, and I just don't know. But I like the little encampments set up around the various ruins of Hyrule. Um, I saw a wacky shrine there. Yeah, the, the castle rising into the sky is very ominous. I don't think this is a good thing for Hyrule. In fact, I'm gonna say it's a very bad thing. Just a hunch. Link's arm. Maybe it's like, the further you go in the game, the more the arm degrades? I don't know. I like, uh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, we're gonna... Okay, so, I saw an underground thing that looked cool. I like this ship. Uh, big fan of these water bubbles. Like, I can see that being kind of fun for some puzzles. The Skylands are gonna be really interesting platforming challenges, aren't they? And then you have what appears to be... <laughs> I don't know if this is an actual, like, you know, put the quarter in and get a prize. Usually one of those sticky hands that gets hair on it. But whatever it is, either those are used to solve a puzzle, or it's some kind of gotcha with an in-game currency. Let's call them rupees. But... I don't know. Yeah, I see villagers and, like, townsfolk fighting... Um, moblins and, and bokoblins and stuff, so that's cool. I, uh, that, uh, goat, goat. Future past technology. That looks like a pristine Hyrule Castle to me. I don't know what that means, Zelda. but... Wow. We rely on your knight, and that legendary sword he carries. Yeah, but that sword gets crusty. What happens to it? Will be Link. It's hit with a meteor? Link. That's him. That skybird that is is kind of cool. So yeah, I like this because it looks like there's water. I could be wrong, maybe not. No, I think there's just a puzzle in there. Maybe there's just floating orb puzzle shrines in the sky. Interesting enemy. Oh, the enemy variety in this game, I'm assuming, is going to be at least like better than Breath of the Wild, because that was a sticking point of the game. It was such a vast game, and some enemies were really fun to fight, make no mistake, but you just had to keep fighting them over and over and over again. The The enemy composition of, like, the area was interesting, if you had to fight, like, a Lionel and three other things, but um, more enemies. We've already seen a bunch, so that's good. This is interesting, so it looks like it's that stuff that you use to make vehicles the sticky stuff, and you could just bring villagers with you. I'm going to assume that's a quest of some kind, like bring this group of villagers to um, another town and protect them. Also, I see birds in the sky. You see those birds? Look at them birds. They're in a little pattern. That's nice. The world is going to feel more alive. That's the other thing I'm wondering about, too, is how detailed is this world going to be now that they've had another seven years of it? Like, the wildlife... All the little things, all the interlocking systems that Breath of the Wild had, like um, you set something on fire, the fire spreads, it creates an updraft. So what 
other stuff like that is going to be in this game. All the, the things that make you feel like you're part of the world. And, and they're doing this on a Nintendo Switch, by the way. It almost doesn't make sense, especially when you look at other open-world-ish games. Um, I'm not going to throw sp particular stones <laughs> that explode, but I think some of you probably have seen some games that don't look so great on the Switch. And then you look at this, and it's like, wow. If you really spend the time and you know the hardware, you can squeeze a lot of juice out of this. I mean, Metroid Prime Remastered proved that, even if the rooms were very small. But this being open world, sure, it's locked to 30 FPS, but it looks like there's a lot of stuff that you can see. And lots of things are happening in the distance. Yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with this. And I, I kind of wonder what Aonuma and his team would be able to do on the next system. Which, you know, who knows when that's going to happen. But yeah, even here, too, you see those, those bubbles with the water. Um... Big jump. Link's got big jump. I like this, uh, you know, minecart sequence, which is kind of wacky. Uh, and it looks like, again, those are actually constructed because you can see the, the, the teal glue or green, whatever, um, with those fans. This is amazing. And, and this is insanity. Okay, so it's the rock creature, um, which I, I'm forgetting the name of the creatures at the moment, but it's got platforms on it <laughs> and bokoblins i think looks like bokoblins and link is rolling on up in some kind of <laughs> like i've made these things in the game besiege and other such games where you build like creations that just don't make any sense to destroy objects and you can just do that in this game now i guess okay so yeah, there's something new in almost every one of these scenes. Hang on, rock, creature, Breath of the Wild, I should know this. Stone Talus, Stone Talus. At least it's Stone Talus and not Stone Phallus. That was not necessary, I don't know why I said that. Anyway, look, look, a dragon! I know why I am here. It's something only I can do. Man, that Blood Moon has gotten so much more uh, scary, and and Lynels, are those like super Lynels. I like that. Is that some form of Mulduga? It's like a, a mud shark. Wow, the mud graphics are really good. Is a uh, baby bird here? Maybe that's Son of Rivali. I don't know. Um, is this a Gerudo? Oh, look. There she is. Urbosa. Or maybe it's uh, another Urbosa. I don't know. I love this dude with the bucket. The wooden bucket on his head. Like, you do realize that will catch on fire, right? But you know what? Good for you. Um, I wonder, is this game... Also, look at Link's sword he's using here. It's a weird one. It's like a lizard sword. Um, I wonder if this is going to have some elements of Hyrule Warriors. What I mean by that is just, it looks like there's going to be uh, battles with other NPCs on a slightly larger scale. So not quite Hyrule Warriors, but maybe like, you yeah, you fight with Hyruleans. Um, is that adult Mipha? Like, who, I don't remember what happened to them. It was like a hundred years ago, wasn't it? Maybe it's, um, uh, what's his name? The, the shark man, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh God, wait, it was Mifa, and then there was another one. Memory bad. Please leave a comment if you wish to do so. Link. But yeah, the champions or their, their brethren have returned in some way. I want to mention the name of this Link. dragon. Who knows if it'll be called that, but um, three-headed dragon zelda gleelock gleeock gleeock you are our final hope okay well um aside from the post credit scene which we watched a little bit 
Yeah, this has been a quality trailer. I am even more excited about this game. I'll admit that the last presentation, uh, the one that Aonuma did, did with the various mechanics, each of those mechanics looks insane and will have infinite clip possibility and replayable potential. I really think that every time um, people pick up this game, it's going to be a completely different experience for every single person because you can put a rock on a stick. Amazing. But I actually thought about that trailer a little bit more, or rather the, the presentation more. And even though it didn't give me this, which is what I was kind of hoping a little bit um, for more of, we got a whole lot of potential for just lots of amazing like sandbox gameplay. And, you know, for someone like me, I know it's going to end up being like an hour of doing the dumbest stuff to solve either puzzles or to, um, you know, defeat like an enemy encampment. I think it's going to get really interesting. Whatever Breath of the Wild did in terms of um, sandbox and emergent gameplay, this is taking it to like a completely different level. So in that sense, I don't mind that they're reusing Hyrule. More and more, I understand why that was done. So more time could be spent on this stuff. More time could be spent, you know, deepening the systems and creating new things where basically your imagination seems to be the limit to a degree. And I respect that. That said, I don't mind that it's the same Hyrule because it was already huge. And on a personal level, I've kind of forgotten a lot of the specifics of that Hyrule. I'm assuming lots of things are going to be replaced, remixed. The sky areas look vast and interesting. I'm assuming the shrines are going to be completely different. Um, there's underground areas, as we saw, so that's going to lead to a whole new set of areas to explore. So yeah, this is going to be a huge game. Still don't know if there's going to be dungeons or more traditional Zelda elements like a hookshot or items that carry over. I kind of don't think that's going to be the case. I feel like there will be dungeons. I don't know how much more extensive they're going to be than the previous ones. Um, because I, to me, everything I've been communicated about this game so far screams more interactivity with the objects and the environment. And that leaves a little less room in my mind for what they're going to be doing in terms of like, oh, we want to bring back dungeons. Uh, the, the Zelda music, like actually bringing back the classic theme is cool. So yeah, I mean, great trailer. Uh, to me, there was no doubt that they were going to do, do a good job with this game. And I mean, it remains to be seen. We've got like a, almost a month as of the time of this recording to go, but I have a lot more interest than I did before. And I already had a lot of interest because it's going to be another Zelda game and it's going to be um, a sequel to the game that I spent seven and a half hours streaming on release, which almost never happens. Never mind you, Elden Ring. But all right. So that's a great trailer. Thank you for watching. Uh, hope you got something out of this. And um, I guess next time we talk Zelda in any great detail will be the release of Tears of the Kingdom. I'll see you then. Now, anyway, here's a message from Crypto Luigi. I, I just land in the On second thought, let's let's not get a message from Crypto Luigi. <laughs>